Greetings, men of iron. If you're watching this, you're going to have some interesting things to say. So I'll look forward to it in the comments section below. But with that being said, as Catholic men, you are expected to, to be knowledgeable. Now, if you went to a doctor, you would expect them to be knowledgeable. If you expect you go to a lawyer, you expect them to be knowledgeable. If you expect, if you go to your uh, your trained uh, certified car mechanic, you expect them to be knowledgeable, at least in the area they need to be knowledgeable in. Uh, I wouldn't ask about uh, uh, you know a doctor about deep sea diving if they're not qualified to deep sea dive. I'd ask you about doctor stuff, you know, the kind of medical things, but not the other things. So you need to understand, first off, this is not about you knowing everything. It's about you knowing what you profess to be, a child of God and a man. So as, a, as both child of God and man, you must recognize first that you lack something. Whether, generally speaking, oftentimes it's the grace of God that is is lacking and you need to foster that by inviting um, the holy spirit into your life and to and to respect the the wishes of what the holy spirit is asking you to do now most of us you know certainly those who are cradle catholics you know started off with you know, they'll go through the the sacraments and by the time they hit uh, confirmation they're like okay that's done i'm finished my Catholic card is officially punched. I no longer need to do that stuff. And yet, you still go to the sacraments every Sunday. And every once in a while, you take advantage of, you know, uh, you know the uh, sacrament of reconciliation. Yeah, you do that because that's just who you are. But is that is that enough? I mean, is that is that do you feel like there's a hole in your chest that goes, oh man, I wish I did more. I need to do more. But what is that? Well, fear not, fear not. What men of iron is to do is to help fill that hole. Not by answering those questions, by but having you open enough to ask the questions. We're not here to answer questions. We're here to open up questioning so that you can have a dialogue with God and oftentimes with, with other men to be able to ask good questions that are necessary for your continued development as a man. Because we all continue to develop as men, whether we're you know 20 or 40 or 60 or 80, we still are developing. And we all have something to offer each other. And as iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. We need to sharpen each other. We can't do that if we don't make ourselves available to each other. So we must make ourselves available to each other. Women, women, women must recognize that their men need help. Oh, they might be great providers and they do what they do, but recognize that their men need help in developing themselves to be better men, not that little men or to be, well, you know, at least they go to mass and that's, I, you know, I'll settle with that. So as you're, you know, are you looking at a settler, you know, uh, somebody who rides in the, the, the prairie and there's a settler, or are you looking for somebody who is a, a man who is going to provide for not only the material, but also the spiritual growth of the family. Those are things you need to think about. You know, as women, as men, where do you fit in? Or are you just another, you know, uh, financial donor, much like the government is to, you know, in a welfare state? Yeah, yeah they, I do that. Where is your leadership? As one man sharp as another, we need to be that man sharpening another by holding them account to giving them direction, by taking direction, by receiving, op uh, being open to receiving uh, the goodwill offering of another man saying, yeah, you know, I guess I could do that better. We can't get sharp unless we have, unless we have instances where we're a little dull. And sometimes we're a little dull. So help sharpen another man by looking at men of iron, 
only once a month on Tuesdays, seven o'clock in the Kreitz room over in the Holy Family Center. This is where we go. It's the second Tuesday. I hope to see you there. Women, send your men.